I've, I've been asked a number of times what I see uh, in Ratnax future for the next five years, and, and and sometimes that's hard to think about. Times like now in the chaos we're we're all kind of experiencing, it's hard to sort of figure out what the future will look like. And yet I'm reminded of uh, something my dad used to say to me when um, when things were really difficult. He'd just say, you know, just remember, Brian, you will laugh again. And sometimes when you're having really difficult times, it's hard to actually see that that will happen. There will be humor, there will be laughter, there will be a measure of normality later. And so it's in that context that, that I think of the future. COVID-19 is not going to last forever. Uh, it, will, it will pass and we'll get over this. Uh, so, so what do we see in the next five years? To answer that, i got to go back five years. Let's look at the last uh, five years where, where really Ratnak has been privileged to develop uh, an incredible team of staff in Canada that are dedicated, really dedicated and unified in, in what we want to do. Um, we've also had an incredible development in terms of, of the donor base, wonderful donors like you who are, are diligent in your support, uh, both financially and in prayers for us, and that's a tremendously strong foundation. Uh, we also have this tremendous team now in, of staff in Cambodia that are that have developed incredible skills and talents and are really good at what they do and want to see their country changed. Uh, what a what a raw material to, to work with. Uh, and so we also have uh, really good, healthy government relationships um, in in Cambodia. So all that sets the stage for where do I want to go uh, in five years time. Um, there are some in my team that are much more pragmatic than me, and that's their job. My brain doesn't work administratively that well, and they would come up with business plans and structures and budgets and everything else. I, I'm kind of more the visionary, and and really what I what I see for the future is, is really quite simple. It's to see the Cambodian team, these wonderful young Cambodian Christians, uh, empowered to serve their people, empowered to bless their people, empowered to transform lives. And so that takes the form of transforming individual lives in Cambodia, those who have suffered as human trafficking victims. Uh, it also takes the form of seeing them transform systems in their country so that government systems, social services systems uh, grow and thrive, become healthy, and are, are based on, on fundamental principles of compassion and care for people. Uh, and we're seeing that starting to happen, which is wonderful to participate in that. So I want to see that, that accelerated for the next five years so that ultimately, through the transformation of lives individually and the transformation of systems, we would actually see Cambodia transformed, mm -hmm. that it would be blessed, and that Ratnak would be front and center of that, not so much from this end, but Ratnak would be front and center of that through our Cambodian staff serving their own people. So that's my big picture, and that's what I'd love to see happen.